Hello, my name is Reed and today we're doing Inktober. So, my dumb ass forgot to push play with the video. So as you can see, most of her skirt, or well, the first layer at least, is already done. So I'm sorry about that. Also, my hands are still a little bit blue. I got off as much as I possibly could. But it's still a little bit on. And my nails are at least clean at the moment, but it's still kind of tamed blue. I didn't have time to paint them before I started the video, but, you know. Hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. So yeah, here I am. I'm doing a Wednesday Adam inspired piece today because I love the Adam family. When I was little or quite young, my mum bought the double feature, which is the Adam family movie and the Adam family value movie. And I loved both of them. I've watched them so many times. I actually watched them as I was drawing this to get inspiration for Wednesday. And yeah, I just really love it. I actually, in the original sketch, I included it. No, thing, sorry. The hand on her shoulder. But I forgot to trace it when I was using the light box. So it isn't in the final piece, which is a shame. But I think it still looks cool without thing. But yeah, because I had it on her shoulder, but I just, I, my stupid ass forgot to... I was having a bit of an off day, I was really shaking my memory. My mental condition does tend to affect my memory. Also, I get distracted very easily considering I have a type of ADHD related to the mental illness I have, so... Yeah. I was just forgetting a lot of things today. So, sorry about that. Also, her hand on my right, your right, the viewer right, not her right. Um. I messed that one up a little bit, so it looks kind of odd, it's like slightly too long or something. I needed to add in more of a knuckles, but I, I really struggled to find a reference picture for that one. So I just kind of had to wing it and it didn't turn out the greatest. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal, it's just little things I'm a bit perfectionist about, so I noticed them. But yeah, just adding in more black to her dress. You can't see it on camera, but in real life it was quite streaky. So I was just fixing that up, making it less streaky and also a little bit darker. Like here it shows up pitch black, but in real life there were some bits that were lighter and the bits that were darker. And just a little bit. And it's something I'm still getting used to. Watercolour, I find it very easy to use, whereas I think I'm getting used to it slowly, but... I don't know if I'll use it much in the future or not, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. Here I am adding in her hair. Yeah, and here I am darkening it up because she has black hair, but I couldn't give her black hair on top of her black dress because it'd be too hard to see. So I just give her some dark grey hair. Well, technically she's a dark brunette, but her hair is very close to black, so I gave her dark grey because I don't use browns in ink. Which I don't use browns a lot at all. I'm not a big fan of the colour brown. But yeah, anyway. Just adding in the hair colour. Using my heat gun because I'm getting impatient and I keep trying to stick my hand in it. Because I'm left handed. Oh look, you can see my lovely blue head. Sorry, I didn't realise I was... I think I was doing the skull here. But yeah, I dyed my hair blue so that's what you guys are seeing. Oh, you guys can see it on the right hand side of the camera. Sorry, I really don't want to fuck up the skull, but, yeah, so, enjoy my blue head. Uh, just adding in a little bit of a darker layer to the skull that she is holding. I got the original reference from a picture of someone cosplaying as Wednesday, and they were holding the skull, but they were holding it differently to this, and they were kind of on an angle, and I wanted her more straight on. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Um, so I was filling in lips. I know Wednesday has pretty natural lips, but, um, you know, creative liberties. So I'm just adjusting her nose because it was a bit high up. Fixing up her eyes, although I still kind of messed up her eyes a little. They're not quite the same, but, you know, it's very subtle. Only I would really notice, and you only really notice when I pointed out, but, Yeah. So I added some dots under her eyes. Oh, sorry, I whacked the camera all the time, but turn back. Um, uh, oh, sorry, you can see my hair again. 
I like adding dots into the eyes. It's something Jack Clean Dalion started doing, and I really like the way it looks, so I kind of started doing it too. But normally I try to add something different under the eyes each time, but sometimes I just do the same dots. So on the left side, oh, so this leg that you're working on now, I'm doing just a plain old spider web because it's creepy and I kind of struggle to do things related to when they on that leg, so I just kind of did that. And on this leg, I did a cleaver. Because, you know, her and her brother keep trying to kill each other, so the cleaver seemed appropriate. Then I just did some plain old roses, because I couldn't really find a flower that related to them in any way, so, yeah. Here I'm doing a neck, and her neck she has a bottle of cyanide and some nice smoke coming out of it. Although you can't really see. Oh yeah, there we go, now you can see my hands out the way. Just adding in her jawline and her neck. Fixing up her nose again, adding in some eyebrows and some eyelids. Oh, you can, I have it added in the dots, you can kind of see them now that I've got to her face more. But yeah, I really like this illustration, it's, I could have done a few things better, but that's just more of a, I'm getting better now, so I'm seeing them now. But oh, that's what I've really liked about Inktober, is just seeing how much I've improved sketching wise well so it's one thing I've missed a lot lately is sketching because I've you know it's only been like a week but I, normally I sketch every single day like you know for that month and a half I was prepping I was sketching non-stop like sketching at school coming home sketching a game just non-stop but I have had to fix up some of my Inktober's pre-sketches so, I've been able to sketch again, which is great. I didn't realise how much I miss it. I thought I'd be okay painting. But because I don't do a lot of painting, I, I think I do miss it a lot more than I thought I would. But, yeah, I'm still not too bad about missing colour, which is interesting for me, because I love colour, as you can see from my hair. But, yeah, hands adding in some shadows under her neck. Around her collar, under her nose, under her eyes, because I like accentuating the eye bags. I think it makes them look a little bit more creepy, and I just like the way they look. And here I am setting in more shadows, bouncing them up. Just hiding it too nice. Giving her a light contour to give her face a more of a three dimensional feel. Also, this is about four or five times speed. Well, so sorry if you can hear the bloody car beeping outside. I don't know what the hell is going on. But it's just beeping. I don't think you will be able to hear it because I can barely hear it, but just in case. Here I'm working on the skull, just starting up under the drawline. I didn't want to make it too dark because I didn't want it to blend in with her dress behind it. But I probably could have made it a little bit light, uh, a little bit darker and it wouldn't have mattered too much. But yeah. Uh, I appear to be working off... Oh, I'm just adding shading to her legs. Oh, I'm still off camera again. But oh well, I'm trying. So here I am sitting in her pu iris, iris, irises. They're called irises. Pupils are the black stuff, irises are the coloured stuff. Um, don't know what I'm doing here. But oh yeah. So I'm starting on the background. In the background I have the Ann and Assembly house. Um, I'm not very good at drawing houses or buildings, so I apologise that it's not great but I did my best for my skill it's I don't enjoy drawing buildings I think they're too straight and I'm too gay for them uh, nah I just I love the way they look I just don't like drawing them all that much because I don't know I just really struggle f making them look original and nice and not wonky I'm good at Dr. Seuss houses <laughs> Oh god, I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, here I am adding in a little more dimension by adding a, a blacker panel there. And making the roof a little bit darker. And as you can see, that's already on quite the angle. I mean, I can, if I do perspective properly, I can do a house. It's just, I don't like using rulers. <laughs> so I don't do perspective properly because it's just lots of rulers and I'm just, I don't know. This is not my thing, but I don't mind drawing them every now and then just as a background. 
to her and just going to add in the little spiky bits that are at the top of the things. Then adding in some line details. I did originally have windows that I painted over them. Because I am going over them, you can't really see them, it just gives it a little bit more texture. That's fine. The windows are pretty dark anyway. Uh, here I'm adding in another dark panel also. The page is slightly ripped there from the glue because I'm not the best at binding right uh, at just yet. So yeah, that was that why there's a little darker patch. is because it's the ripped paper that is exposed so it picks up picking more. So I am just using the red now. Uh, just try not to make sure, make sure it's not too dark. Adding in the pupils. Yeah, the pupils. I got it right that time. Sorry, I'm weird. Um, just adding a little bit of darkness to her tattoos. Going over it with a bit of ink to make it smoother. Just adding in some blood and some darkness around the handle. I could have added a little bit more dark, but I just I didn't want it to take away from her skirt too much. And then I think I just add in the background, and then I'm pretty much done. Oh, I wait the camera again. Sorry. Oh no, I'm doing some white and filling in her eyes because they looked a bit pink from all the sketching I'd done. So yeah. Oh, here I'm adding in her braids. Just some textures of the braids. Adding in all the loops that her hair does, and you can't really see it on camera, but it adds a little bit to it, I think. And yeah, adding in more highlights, and then background. See, I'll let you guys watch the background, then I'll, then I'll see you at the end. Bye. This is the result of Inktober Day 8. Hope you guys enjoyed. This one was very close to my current style, which is good. A few mistakes, but I just I really spaced out today. But I'm glad I got it done. The house is a bit wonky, but you know what? Oh well. Anyway, don't forget to take your paintbrush, stay your water, and read out. Bye!